Good afternoon. My name is Jeff. I'm a sewer tech northwest. Today we're at property address 35111 Roberts Lane here in St. Helens, Oregon. We're located at the front of the home and there's a three inch ABS clean out. This will be the point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have a kitchen sink running and I will uh, zero out the camera at the bottom of the clean out and refer to that as the point of access. Here we go. Okay, here at 19 feet from the point of access, it transitions from 3-inch ABS to 4-inch PVC pipe. Everything looks good so far. Okay, and here at 50 feet from the point of access, we have reached the main lateral. Uh, I believe it's out on Roberts Lane. I'll do locates to verify that. Um, I am con a bit concerned about the uh, last about 20 feet of the pipe. We just scoped there. Uh, there was quite a bit of standing water and debris. I'm going to do a whole bunch of toilet flushes uh, to see if I can clear that out of the way. And then we'll let the line drain out completely so we have a good idea if there's any standing water and debris left over. Uh, it's a vacant home. Sometimes uh, debris can just kind of congregate together. There uh, hasn't been any water running for a while. Okay, the uh, line is now as drained out as it uh, can possibly be. I did about 10 toilet flushes to see if I could help clear some of that debris out and possibly free up the uh, standing water. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start reeling back now and assessing that. I'm just reeling back here really quick to see if any of the other PVC uh, has grade loss. There is a, a pretty large section there in the PVC with uh, standing water, unfortunately. Okay. I'm going to push back out there until the water settled into place so we can see where the uh, standing water starts at. It'll look like a little pool when we get to it. Right here at 30, looks like it starts at 35 feet out from the point of access, <clears throat> and it extends pretty much, I believe it extends all the way to the uh, main lateral, the very last foot of the pipe or so where it dumps into the main, uh, clears out, but uh, right where that connects to that, uh, I believe it's a 90 degree turn, uh, that goes right up to that point, so about 49 feet. And I will uh, map this out for repair. You can see all the debris buildup. Um, the reason this is all cleared out now is that I just spent the last 10 minutes flushing toilets uh, to blast all that out of there in the effort to see if there was just uh, buildup because the house is vacant. But the reason that toilet paper and stuff was all stuck in there uh, when we first scoped out uh, is because there is a uh, pretty significant belly in the line here. All that standing water uh, is just a, 
it, it's a dam in the line when all the debris comes down it hits that and just stops um, and then you if you can get enough debris building up uh, it can back up into the uh, smaller three inch pipe and cause you some issues and there is debris build up all throughout the uh, three inch uh, at first I thought it might be because of uh, bad flushing practices but it's more than likely due to the uh, grade loss here line has a very hard time emptying out and so the uh, stuff hangs around the pipe for a while and builds up on the sewer walls. I will mark either end of the belly with a green X, so I'll mention the depths and location in just a moment. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and push out to the end of the belly. I'm just going to mark either end of the next. Um, the, the entire uh, belly is out in the street. All the pipe on property uh, does appear to drain out, and we'll check that out completely when we reel back. Uh, but, so because this is out in the road entirely, I would recommend contacting the city uh, as it may be their responsibility uh, to maintain the uh, sewer line from the curb out to the main lateral, depending on the city or the county, uh, they do and don't. So it's worth checking with them. This may be their responsibility. And the belly extends all the way out. They basically have standing water, it's, although it's small, all the way up to the, uh, just about to the connection. It's about 49 feet out where it stops. And back at 35 feet where it starts, it was 7 feet, uh, 5 inches deep. Uh, more than likely, the city is going to want to do all their own testing and everything. But I will all put it, uh, markings at either end. Okay, I've done, a, again, a green exit either end. Uh, it's actually uh, stops here at 50 feet. So the belly is from 50 feet, or I'm sorry, from 35 feet out to 50 feet. Again, it's all in the street. It's at uh, about 9 feet, 3 inches deep here. And again, I've just put an exit either end. And I recommend contacting the city. Have them uh, review the video. We're going to go ahead and start rolling back into the ABS portion of the line. Make sure that's draining out okay. All right, all the uh, line on property is in good shape and, and functioning properly at this time. Uh, the Essentially, the entire PVC section that's out in the street uh, from 35 to 50 feet uh, has lost grade. There's about an inch, inch and a half of standing water across that whole uh, section, uh, possibly more in spots. It's uh, difficult to gauge once you uh, get pretty deep into it. But there's a lot of debris built up in it, and uh, so I am going to recommend a spot repair there, or at least to inform the city so they know it exists in case uh, if they don't want to fix it, they at least know they may have to uh, possibly clean it out at some point if enough debris builds up in it. And it, and it can over time 